Hi guys and welcome back to some more of the Cat Lady. So we've taken the dress. We need something to pry open this paint with. I doubt a broom will work. Can we at least take it? No, we need to wait until it's opened. Okay. There's nothing we can take in the coal shoot, I believe. Um. Yeah, I think that's us for the basement just now. We need to tear up the dress somehow. Now, I was thinking, like, we can't... No male for Susan Ashworth, all other compartments are locked. Can we use Mitzi for that purpose? Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. Awesome, okay. That gives us Another access room to the mail. Locksmith. Alright, okay, jeez. Really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Fine. Master criminal, if anything. Hopefully she can get that open. Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Okay, so what did we get? Letter to Pauline and a letter to Joe. Those are the... They've got flats. <laughs> I know that much. So, those... Were those the people whose um, flats we couldn't get into? Look, she left the door open. Oh, can I check it out? Do you want to check her flat? I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. I'll be as quick as I can. Wonder what we'll find. It's not her. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops, no telephone lines. Okay. I'm not really surprised, are you? At least we can now cross her off the list. True. <laughs> okay, at least uh, Let's go. we've dealt with her in some way as well. Right, I think we can reach this statue now. I would assume with the, the broom, be able to knock it down. I would assume with the broom. I am such a good poet. Can I reach it with this? I'll try to catch that thing for you, alright? You better. It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. Lovely. Ah, uh, can we examine it? Like, that's a bit of a random thing to have. Black porcelain cat with open mouth. Wouldn't be out of place in my own flat, but I've probably got enough of these already. We can shake it. Seems there's something inside. Is it like a bank? Ah, uh, there was a key inside the cat statue. What a strange hiding place. What happened to the good old I doormat? I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. <laughs> I don't remember asking you to catch anything. Alright, we've got a key and it says three on it, so is that to that flat upstairs? That's Joe's flat, who we've got the letter to, so can we read his letter then? It's addressed to Joe Davis, he lives opposite me in flat three. It's from a Dr. Frank Zellman. It appears he's Joe's shrink. Apparently Joe failed to attend his weekly sessions recently. Well, well, looks like Joe's just as messed up as I am. Or worse, who knows? I should be the last to make judgments, really. What about the letter to Pauline? Can we read that? Well, down? well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try. But I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Okay. So we can now get into flat three. 
which we couldn't do before, I think. Uh, use. Do you want to go in first? Come on in. The place seems empty. Okay. Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Just step around it. I'm not blind. <laughs> Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. Alright, she's just trying to be helpful. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. I really don't like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. Okay. Just no, I don't want to go out yet. Remember the hole, Susan. Okay. So what's in here? A dress form. Bingo. We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. No, no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. Are you sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Uh, okay, just hurry just up. Just hurry up. Yep, I'll just grab the power lead and run right back. It's just across the hall. I'll be back before you know it. Um, I'll count to 100 if you're not back. I will count to 100. If you're not back, I'm out of here. I'll be back before you get to 75. Don't worry. Hey, I just remembered something that'll keep you busy. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. What? Why? To keep your mind occupied. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I'm back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just a little experiment of mine. Okay, whatever. Now go. I'm counting already. My uh, my mind is blank about vegetables. I'm like, and end up in places like this. I'm like, what's a vegetable? Um, is the phone ring? Right, so we've got the laptop. Seems almost out of place. I hope Mitzi makes it work soon so we can get the hell out of here. There's no point switching it on. Now a door six 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 is creepy as fuck. Right, great. Three sixes, the number of the beast. Probably keeps the mutilated bodies of his victims there. On the other hand, I read once there was some other meaning to three sixes too. Something really innocent. Can't remember now. It's a long time ago. I read other things in my mind. Even if I wanted to, the doorknob is missing. What a fancy chair. You usually see chairs like this one in posh hotels in the country. No, I'd rather not. It's quite dusty and I'm wearing black. Breaking mirrors. Tried that myself. Didn't cheer me up somehow. Got a socket. It's a socket. Once we've got that power lead, we can plug it in here. Coat rack. No coats in the rack. Joe's probably wearing his coat wherever he is. It's cold this time of year. Above the desk, the wall was covered with pages pinned to the wall. They look like handwritten letters. Disgusting. Rotten food is scattered on the table. Looks like someone made a meal and barely even touched it. It looks pretty old. Don't make them look this anymore. I swear I heard someone come in this flat. Remember the hole, Susan. There's no point. It stopped ringing now. Well, if it was ringing at all. I, sh I mean, should we go if she's not... I don't know, it should be. That's, oh, I don't know. Um. 
front door. We could leave. I feel like there's something in this room I'm missing. That damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. Um. No, I mean, I have searched it all. Alright, let's go. Let's just go. Just Find out where the hell Mitzi's went to. Alright, leave. Damn. Oh, wait. The door handle just came off in my hand. How am I going to get out of here now? Can we use that on the, the other door? The 666 door? Mitzi? I'd assume Mitzi, we can. Mitzi, are you there? Shit. Oh, this isn't good, okay. Remember the hole, Susan. Alright, let's see if we can use it on this door. Use. Right, great. Uh, okay, we've said, said all that. It's open, so we'll enter. Uh, what the fuck is this? The water from the bath is completely flooded to the bathroom floor. Not that I care, I just want to leave as soon as possible. Oh my, oh, it's a mannequin, okay. Okay, a mannequin in the bath. This guy's nuts, no doubt about that. It's dirty like everything else in this place. Got a power lead, this must be the power lead that we need. Maybe luck's on my side today after all. I'm scared. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god, he's back. Shit. This is not good. What the? I've got to get out of here. This is not good. Uh, hey, hey, Joe. What? Jesus. No. You were not supposed to be here. I I'm sorry. I am. Why did you have to ruin everything? Ooh. What have you done? No you nothing. Stupid, evil bitch. Misogyny. Who are you? Uh, uh, I'm the gas inspector. I, I'm the gas inspector. There's a leak somewhere? Is that so? I can't smell any gas here. How odd. I think you're lying. You took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to you? Who? What? Look, sir, you are wrong. Shut up! I won't let you trick me again! Did they send you? They think I'll fall for these lies, but... But I'm smarter than this. I know what you're up to. Uh... Back it up, back it up. Um... My friend knows that I'm my here. My friend knows that I'm here, and she will call the police. And I've got a gun. I can shoot you right there in your heart. It's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course, you haven't got a heart. Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll just leave. Very slowly. I won't cause you any trouble at all, okay? Okay, okay, let's, let's, let's just get out here. Um... Mitzi, are you there? Mitzi? Are you there? I need help! Where the hell are you? I tried calling for help too. No one ever comes. Just the devil. You are seriously freaking me out now. Tell cops all about the devil. I'm out of here. 
Get back here right now and give me that blasted key! Oh my god. No, 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 the hole! Shit. Oh shit. Where? Where are we? Came through here. I can't read what that last sign says. But, um, I think I'm going to wrap up this part here. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And I love you all.